Okay, Oops. welcome back to our uh, loner story. I've I've been a bit busy with trying out a few different games these last few days, but uh, back to basics today. Well, back to Zayton today, if nowhere else. So I'm going to head off over to the generators again. I'm going to put some stuff away and collect everything I need. So I think we're going to set off and on our way. I think I left a cord and drunk, did I? Oh no, I've got an advanced tool kit here. I don't know whether he's interested or not. Never mind. See you later. Right, let's go and get all my stuff together I need for this trip and what I don't need on me. I'm not taking that with me. I'm not carrying that much. Probably pick some up on the way. Uh, we'll need a sleeping bag. Ammo. Uh, gonna take some food. How oh, we offer everything else? Bandages, first aid kit should be good. Uh, blowout events. Survive three emissions. going to be pretty good to go there. Uh, what's that? Oh, it's a silencer for my rifle. Okay, we'll take that with us. Uh, what else have I got? 60 rounds for that. Shotgun ammo, food, grenades. Good to go. Let's set off before it gets too dark and get to uh, the generators to that safe house. Before nightfall if we camp. I hear a load of gunfire going down somewhere. We just want to uh, follow those pipes again back to the changeover point. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Okay. Wary eye out for blood suckers, etc. Yeah, I've been trying out a few different games if anybody's noticed. It's. Um, What, I'd rather just avoid them. I don't know if I can outrun them or not. My energy might drop off in a bit, but let's just see if we can. Contact's gone, and I think the cats have gone as well. Yeah, I've been trying out a couple of different um, games. There seems to be a a sort of similarity here growing with it. We're all like Eastern European post-apocalyptic settings. There's that um, existential set in the uh, post-apocalyptic scenario of the Soviet Union, which is quite good. I will do some more on that. 35mm. I like the look of 35mm. It's, it's a slow plodding game but I really like that one and finally we got um, Investigator I'd been so cheap Investigator in English money I paid I think it was about 38 pence I don't know what that is in euros cents I mean, if you're, wherever you're watching I'm country and your currency I'm 
sorry if I'm not very, uh, I'm going to keep my eye on where I am here as I go waffling on about currency changes. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, skirt round. I think we've emptied out most of the zombies now. So we can get through this um, nuclear power plant in uh, one piece. I don't think we'd be going like that. There's an artifact suddenly appeared down there, I'm sure. No, not now. Let's get on before it gets too dark. Yeah, so we just sort of have little playthroughs of them from time to time. I mean, they're all in the Steam sales and they're all, well, to be honest, they're all damn cheap at the moment. I mean, we're not rich, none of us, I'm sure, but uh, that uh, investigator for 38 pence, please convert to your currency, is wonderful. And there's, I was talking with one of my friends on the um, comment section on YouTube channel here and how we uh, I always think doesn't wouldn't Stalker look good on this engine like the Unity engine or something like that I think all these uh, zombies are dead since I visited them although I am a bit wary that they might have respawned I think so far yeah and you just think wouldn't it look good on this game looked good on that engine but when you come back to this game and I say I've been on two Unity engine games and uh, Cry engine games and you look at this and you think you know what there isn't an awful lot wrong with X-Ray is there Let's look at that look at the colours and the atmosphere you know what I think I'll take a picture of this Look nice. No, I don't want to do that. I don't wave guns around in them. Doesn't that look fantastic? Right. To the waypoint. Change over point. Glad I brought some food with me. And we'll do a battle. I with the military checkpoint in here when we come through. It's going to be a case of Tom and Jerry cartoon with the military for 10 minutes, I fear. As long as we stay alive, we'll be doing fine. Just love that. Favourite trees as well, Cedars. I just think they look absolutely gorgeous trees. This is why I like the game. All my, everything I like in it is in it. The atmosphere, the skies and the colours and everything. There's the more you mod it, and it's, the work that modders do is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? You know, no, don't, don't charge for it. Right, we'll continue our musings of stalker and cedar trees on the other side. Right, we'll see you in a minute. That went fairly well, ish, in so much as I didn't. She got. So we'll pick up some ammo as we go along because the amount of ammo I go through is uh, no man's business as I try and hit them. Oh, now this is interesting. Oh, 
same in all this damn grass. Advanced gunsmith toolkit. that either but I'll have to watch my weight. It's giving me some more ammo. Right, I'm not going to worry too much about that. We need to get out of here. Uh, if I remember my way, get past this radiation. up. Just need to get across onto there, then I should be quite good to go. Gunfire, and it must be the military near their checkpoint. Look at the colours here. Not sure whether there was any suedo dogs around here last time I came. I hear a growling. <clears throat> Fairly uneventful. Let's get through the first level of the nuclear power plant. Now we'll get into this next one. And I think we're going to do a quick swap here. I haven't got much ammo for this. What have I done wrong? I've not added something up right, have I? Right, move to the next level. And, oh, it's gone a bit lighter again. Right, let's get to somewhere safe. Why didn't I bring any ammo with me? I'm an idiot. Well, you already knew that, but I'm just confirming it. <laughs> the ammo for my best weapon behind. I did have a run in with the monolith when I came past this way before. So I'm hoping that they haven't respawned too much. Um. 
Whoa, what was that big? Just saw a big uh, anomaly take off then or something. Another one. Right, let's keep moving. generators before it gets too dark. Get the impression I should duck when I go under that pipe. I not forget to bring my mission for that six hour. I just grabbed what I thought I needed. Right there. The colours look fantastic in this Chernobyl power plant tonight. I to take some pictures of it, but we're not really going to get a lot of chance. Really neat. Sky. Okay, we're going to end the video here. We, we will attack the monolith in the morning. I've uh, no ammo for that, of course, but I've got plenty of ammo for my two main attack weapons, and I've also got this with me as well, which I'll, should fetch a good price back at the bar. That, and for the rest of my stuff, I'm going to have to rely upon my AN94 and the shotgun. Well, that's the way it is. My own stupidity. Once again, many thanks for watching the video and we'll be making more of Call of Chernobyl, I can assure you. As we work our way through all the levels, we'll probably revisit a lot as well as we have been doing, but 
I think soon we'll need to head south again, but let's complete this mission first. So, yeah, once again, many thanks for the watching, all the likes and subscriptions. It's always appreciated, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.